Hello everyone, this is Shanu Bhatia from Gossip Panda. Today I am going to make a video on the topic com.android.self.cast receiver. What is it and used for? com.android.self.cast receiver is a package name. Work for self broadcast receiver in Android. Now you need to know what is self broadcast receiver. The self broadcast receiver app provides a platform for emergency alert notifications and traffic alerts. It offers a unique experience for users and the app has a distinctive style and it has multiple icons to differentiate between types of alerts. In addition, the cell broadcast receiver system is very reliable and concise. This app has permissive private permission because the default system behavior prevents the end user from enabling or disabling alerting for emergency and non-emergency alerts. Next is how does it work? Inbound SMS handler is a small helper class that receives a cell broadcast SMS and reacts when it comes in. When a message comes in, it is forwarded to the cell broadcast SMS module for the framework to parse and process the incoming. Once the cell broadcast service receives the broadcasted intent, it will forward to the system default cell broadcast receiver app. The cell broadcast receiver app alerts the users automatically. Next is what is the permission configuration required. Android O restricts system applications from obtaining cell broadcast messages to gain access to this functionality while still using standard Android APIs. Create a new Android library that includes all the necessary components and sign it to your application instead of the platform signing. Next is how com.android.cell broadcast receiver integrates with messaging app. You can link directly to the cell broadcast app through both apps and messaging apps. With this feature, you will be able to add critical alerts as a message thread in your preferred messaging app, plus open your entire list of emergency alerts from cell broadcast. In addition, the app allows you to link with existing messaging apps and social media so you can receive alerts directly in your app. For Android users, this is new feature inside of setting advanced and emergency alert. Next is to launch the app. The following are the steps to launch the app. The setting app is the central place for managing your device's settings. You can access the settings app from the apps menu, an app such as an SMS app that you can use that includes your history of cell broadcast messages. The OEM added an icon to the home screen. Next is testing. The Android compatibility test suite verifies app dependent system APIs. It identifies compatibility programs in apps like crashes or other incorrect behaviors and automatically creates incompatibilities with new API levels. Debug mode is a diagnostic tool. In debug mode, CMAS testers can identify and resolve technical issues with CMAS systems and end devices. Testers can use the access code to enable debug mode on specific end devices. Only testers who trained for this should use this feature. Last but not the least conclusion. The com.android.set broadcast receiver package app allows the end user to be notified of any alerts issued by the authorized bodies, thereby creating a potentially life-saving solution. By enabling the end user to be informed of any such alerts, they will be aware of potential dangers and plan their day accordingly. Furthermore, the self broadcast receiver app allows you to remain informed of any actual emergencies or warnings by being notified directly to your Android device. There is also a feature that helps us fall in love with this. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please like, subscribe, and share my channel, and don't forget to write your variable comment in the comment box. Thank you, everyone.